Golf today? I don't know. I'm just happy to be alive. I'm going to operate on a new principle. And my new principle is um, maybe limited scaling early goes crazy because the scaling doesn't exist in this week. So maybe Pillbug Silk Moth can do something for us. I'll be like an um, unintended whale, like 75% um, of the people who make 99% of the money for mobile free-to-play games. We draw these. I was messed up. I was just, I was remembering when we were talking about ads, uh, when my daughter was eating dinner yesterday. If you were here early, like, so I, I'm solo with the baby this week, and also, like, I got a mild case of stomach flu or norovirus or something. It was mild, but like what I was doing to the toilet was medium, if not hot. Let's put it that way. But I was like just not in a great state. I was watching A&E has this show called like Customer Wars. I was watching it on TV while my daughter was eating dinner. It's all about just like customers behaving badly. And it's shit that would blow your mind if you've never seen live leak like uh this man walked into mcdonald's and starting har started harassing a female patron her male uh companion said hey don't do that he went into his backpack and pulled out an axe and tried to kill him you know or a man was offended he had to ask for an extra straw at mcdonald's so he reached over the counter and grabbed the 17 year old girl working there and then she beat the shit out of him Anyway, she went so hard on that dude. She, she was going, and deservedly. Anyway, I was, no joke, I was bawling my eyes out, man. Because there was one, I was sitting on the couch, like, wrapped in a blanket. Seven pounds down for my normal weight from all the diarrhea I'd had. And there was a toddler, like, trapped in a hot car, crying. And, like, the mom had gone into the Target to get some groceries or something like that. And the kid was like sweating through her shirt and the cops had to come in there and like smash the window and get the toddler out. And the kid was like barely conscious when they got out of there. I was like, just like, how can people treat their kids like that? I was, I was like, I was, it was almost like crying during 90 day fiance. Like I was that embarrassed that this emotionally manipulative content got me so hard. How much of your brand is diarrhea? I don't know, like 75%. Yeah, then 19 cops. The 19 cops who did it all lined up in a, in a row and I sucked each of them off one by one. Because <laughs> that's what I do. When the mom came back, I can imagine what it's like to come back and see your window smashed and a cop holding your child who is like so sweaty it looks like they just got dumped in a swimming pool or something like that. She said, sorry. And the cop said, no, sorry. She could have died. And I was like, she's right, she could have died. Okay, so far so good. Do we care about the duck? I don't think we care about the duck. Do we care about a panda? It's an in interesting way to think about things, isn't it? I don't know. Let's try it. Honestly, for now, why don't you take a cherry? Two of these. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no, they've got two of these, too. Oh, well, that's a, that's a draw. You can stuff your saris in a sack. Is that true, though? Because I've never seen it done. I've never seen someone stuff their saris in a sack. So I'm just not sure if that's just, like, something people say, but they've never actually... There's, like, the people say, like, atoms exist, but I've never seen one. Well, I guess I've seen them, but I just, like, I, I've never known that I've seen one. You know what I mean? Like, I'm seeing them right now. Like, basically everything that I see is them. But anyway, I'm just not... 
It's just it's just kind of a confusing thing. This whole science thing. Okay, now we, we got a squad here. Garlic will go crazy here. I mean, I even think like broccoli could go crazy, but I don't know. Two fifteen level one panda. How the hell does that happen? You don't see atoms, you see light. You know what I don't like to think about is the fact that like everything we see is upside down, but our brain reverses the image in our head. I guess <laughs> where else would it do it? But I don't like to think about that, man. Cause I'm like, dude, if I, cause when I flip upside down, my ass gets like so dizzy. To imagine that actually, like, that level of dizziness is where I should be at all times, that's too much, man. I don't want to, I don't want to think about that. You know what I mean? No? You, you know what I mean, and then, like... What if, like, what I see as, like, blue isn't what you guys see as blue? But we, like, both think that we have, like, the standard accepted definition of, like, what blue is. Like, maybe when I look at blue, I see blue in my mind. But when you look at blue, what you see in your mind is what, like, I would think of as red. You know what I mean? They're different wavelengths. It's an interesting way to think about it. I never really thought about that. Makes a lot of sense, though. I'm gonna add a toad to the team. I'm not gonna buy an apple on turn seven. That's my new, my new New Year's resolution. Skunk, I don't think Skunk goes too crazy this week. Sure, sure. Yeah, NL, you've changed? I know I've changed, because I crapped out, like, all the cells in my body and had to rebuild them this weekend. It's I, we, we went through the shit of Theseus. I'm not the same human being anymore that I was, like, uh, when you last saw me. It's okay, this squad, I'm not sure it's going all the way, but it's looking pretty good right now. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this pill bug, though. My squad? Never mind. No! Mind! One of these. One, I guess we're doing one of those. My hometown in Michigan is installing a roundabout somewhere and people are losing their minds. <laughs> Listen, I accept that roundabouts are a more efficient way to get traffic moving around. I And they're not that complicated once you use them. Like, we, we've got enough of them in Vancouver now that, like, I when, I, when the sat-nav goes, like, enter the roundabout and take your third exit, like, I actually can translate that into an action. But I will say, one of the things is be, that's great about being in Washington State, where there's not that many roundabouts, at least in my anecdotal experience, is it just makes driving feel more relaxed. Because instead of a roundabout where you try to find a point to enter and then exit at the proper area, instead, uh, you get to a stoplight there's seven lanes of traffic, even though there's no homes or businesses. And then you just sit there for fucking four minutes. No wonder people in the U.S. are texting and driving like crazy. I'm used to traffic lights that's like, you get to a light, you get 20 seconds in one direction, maybe a 15-second protected left. Um, then the other lane gets a little protected left for 15 seconds. You're sitting there for like a minute, maybe. There's intersections that I, I've been to in, like, Everett, 
uh, and and Redmond and and Bothell and stuff like that. Where like if you miss the light, like if you're on Amber and you choose to stop, but take a second, cue up your favorite song, because like you're not gonna be moving again for four or five minutes. Sometimes it's it's madness. But on the other hand, it makes it like really nice. Like it's a luxurious drive because you're like, oh, I get to take a nice little break right now. Also, I know this isn't just a Vancouver thing, but I always think to myself, ah, uh, driving in Vancouver, whenever the light turns yellow and I uh, gun it, so I make it through the intersection and I'm like, ooh, that was exciting. And then I look behind me and another car came through behind me, even though I probably shouldn't have gone through myself. And I'm like, it's, <laughs> it gets me every time. It's actually a tough choice. I think if I have patience, you guys are going to get there. But why would I have patience? When I could just go fast instead. Yeah, okay. I was immediately vindicated. Sure. Now you don't really need a carrot anymore, but I, I basically have like a 50-50, so I'm not really going to complain. I think the only thing that, I mean, we, we got a long way to go, but the only thing that beats this squad right now is toads. A toad applying weakness. Did you see they added McDonald's Sprite to shops and sap? What, is, what, what does McDonald's Sprite do? It costs one gold and every unit gets a temporary 50-50 bonus to all stats. You don't really need to be here anymore. I feel like we could instead... Because our shop tier is already at max. The bird can still do something. Throw an octopus out there. Um, can I tell you why we threw the octopus out here? I'll give it to you straight. It's fun. Chocolate. Yeah. Walrus would go hard. That's true. Did you see they added a Zempic to the weekly? They did, but according to Canadian rules and regulations, uh, I'm not allowed to know what it does. Ah! Okay, well, this squad found 10 different ways to beat me. <laughs> Never mind. No, they didn't. They still lost. That was a big win. Go ahead. I don't know. You don't really. You already have fifty HP. You don't really need a pita. I don't think anybody needs a pita on this squad, unfortunately. Might as well. I just realized we have four life left. That that is really good. Please tell us if you've seen Megan yet. Yeah, I will. I will. I haven't. But I'll tell you. That's eight. Waffles? Waffles with no cows? Do not let them cook. Yes? Yes? Yes! Chocolate me, chocolate me, chocolate me. I just think it's crazy that, like, honestly, I know Megan seems like a bad person, okay? And yet, like, why is it that in today's society that's rewarded with this much media attention? But enough about Prince Harry. Have you seen this movie with the AI? Uh, do Prince William? Prince Harry? I don't know what's going on with the royals. Who's the one that's married to... <laughs> 
Who's the one that's married to the guy with the red hair? And who's the one that's, who's the one that's got no hair? That was Harry. Okay, sorry. My mistake. <laughs> Mods. <laughs> it's okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> no, not them, not them, not them, not them. Just give it a second here. Uh. Whoa, ten piece! Well, well, well. Remaining unlockables, nine. That was a ribbon for somebody? I was I was deep in the I was deep in the mod panel. Who was that a ribbon for? Panda? Wow! That's kind of crazy that I never had a, a level three panda get to ten piece before. Crinkle panda. Remember that guy? Dude, you have no idea how many stuffed animals I rescued. This week. Hold on, I'm just going into ban requests. <laughs> on ban requests. I did ban someone for saying another streamer... Wait, oh, look at... Uh, maybe... Uh, I, I thought I was being rude on this one. Here's the messages that they sent today. I thought that this was me just being a little tilted. Shut up, rambling. Just play in your own stupid way. No. Your build sucks, easily countered with anything. No, it's not different? Mm, no, moron. Ha ha, wasted shop space. Please don't ever play and therefore ruin Super Auto Battle Mon, please. Your lazy thinking costs you most games. Game is, games is spelled with an apostrophe. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Another streamer is live, everyone. Now we can go watch a legit sap gamer, yay. I have banned them, okay. Ha, awesome. Sorry for my half-ass smart-assery comments. It's just dry humor. No, it's not. Nobody's laughing. That's not humor. It's just being an asshole and you think it's funny. I know, because I, I invented that. In the moments type of humor. You still get credit for getting me to download Twitch for your content. Thanks. Sincerely, user's name, moi. Come on. You can't be typing asterisk moi, asterisk on the internet in... 2023? It's just, we're, we're living in a different era now. Now this one, this one, I was just tilted. Joel, 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 Joel. OMG, it's the big mommy enemy. Joel, Joel, Sniffa. Blade, no, you're not a good player. Banned. I was referring to earlier in the stream when your baby said, Daddy, you are a good player. And since he lost this round, I said he's bad. It was a callback. Please, I've been a great joeler. Unbanned. That one, that one's on me, okay? You can't expect, <laughs> not to be rude, but you, you can't expect me to, rem to filter every single chat message through all the... Jokes that have ever been made over the course of every stream that's ever been done. Sometimes they're going to get taken out of context, but I have that one. That's on ban for sure. All right, let's start a prediction here. Do you ever ban subscribers? Oh, yeah, like not often. Because they're just smarter than non-subscribers. Uh, let me be like a wrinkled eye or something. I'm not saying that smarter people subscribe. I'm saying that when you subscribe, you become smarter instantly. Do get it twisted. Anyway, I, I do want to say that... What the heck is this? I do want to say... 
I don't think it should be legal for A and E to make the show customer wars because it it actually takes away like what little shred of hope that I had in society left inside of me. I don't know if that sentence made any sense. That show made me never want to go into a store uh, ever again. Just watching people like freak the fuck out over like literally at fast food restaurants. Like the the way that the average customer wars segment is something it's always like found footage. It's something like um a woman was mad at the drive-through for a fast food place when her order was taking her too long to come out. And then like she's out there going like with your two dollar an hour ass, can you get my food out here? And she's just going off on them, like just strutting around like Mick Jagger in, in front of the drive through window with Saul's car anyway. And then the worker came out and threw a milkshake like in her face. And it only kind of hit her like on the side of her tracksuit. And she was like, you missed. And then another worker came out and threw a soda like right in their face. And then she rushed the door and started like trying to beat the door down. I'm like, you can't. I don't, I don't ever want to leave my house ever again if this is the kind of shit that's going on out there. There was one really funny clip though of like... Um, at a Houston apartment complex, two very out of shape dads got way too drunk and then just started like beating on each other, but they have no conditioning or coordination at all. So they're just like the two shirtless guys, again, not in good shape, just standing like this. And they're going like, you better not, you better not. And then the punch takes like seven minutes to go like, and just completely whiffs and then the other guy like tries to counter but like he can't quite hit him right anyway it was like a dragon ball z episode it's so good <laughs> i saw that one I, I, i'm not gonna repeat what you said because it's not nice because okay what they said is it looked like a fight at the aquarium where two sea lions were fighting over a fish, but that's <laughs> you're not. That's a little too far. But like, it's just crazy to me. People are getting into fist fights like with crowds. Like I, 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 I thought that usually this stuff happened at like one a.m. Like someone leaves the bar they've had way too much to drink somebody else who's had too much to drink is just just like fuck you and then they throw hands i didn't realize that it was like uh could happen at like 11 a.m on a sunday at a public pool people are like just just throwing at each other for no reason they're doing this shit like over brunch I, saw, I, I can't believe, I, I know we're on round three here. I saw another one where a woman was pulling out of a nail salon, but she didn't pay the technician. I don't know what the nail salon employee is called. I think they're called like a nail tech, right? So then the nail tech like tried to block her car from being able to back in, back out of the parking lot. And then she just slowly like kept pushing her back with her car. And then the nail tech got onto the trunk and like, dug her fingernails into the roof of the car and the lady drove off with the nail tech on the back of her car and the person filming is like right next to the driver's side window and the driver goes i paid she ran my card and then she goes like skirt and drives off with the just a not a hollywood actor just a normal lady like clinging to the back of her car like wolverine yeah it's crazy Anyway, apparently they stopped a little ways up the road and then the driver beat the shit out of her and then she went to prison, which is good. But I just can't believe this kind of stuff is happening like, like in normal society. Anyway, roll me. Sure. It's, I'm just saying it's scary, scary times out there. <laughs> 
It's not normal. It's just uh, normal in America. I mean, we got it in Canada. I'm sure it. I don't want to say it happens everywhere. I'm sure it happens in in other parts of the world though. People just get into well because they had one clip that was from uh, China, where a dude got a haircut he was unhappy with, and the barber was like, actually, I think that the haircut was pretty good, and he was like, are you joking? Let me give you a haircut, and then he took the barber's scissors. And went like, t snip, 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 like he was going to snip his hair. And the barber kind of like laughed it off. And he said, I'm going to kick your ass. And then he grabbed him by the shoulders and like shoved him into the barber's chair. And was like, if you get up, I'm going to kick your ass. And then the, so the dude was like, oh shit. And uh, then he took out the electric clippers and he shaved his head. This shit is crazy, man. He shaved the barber's head. He didn't shave his own. And also, here's the other thing. I don't want to like get on this guy's bad side. I didn't think his, I didn't think his haircut looked that bad. I thought his haircut looked pretty slick. Honestly, I would. I thought it looked pretty good. <laughs> Sounds staged? I don't know. That's for A and E to figure out. You really think the Arts and Entertainment Network would would lie to me like that? I don't think so. Come on, get a clue. Anyway, Super Auto Pets. What a game. Thursday. What a concept. Hey, by the way, I did finish uh, Pressure Cooker. I know a lot of people have been asking. Really liked it. Thought Pressure Cooker good show. I'm not even, I'm no spoilers, but like, yeah, this, the way everybody felt about the finale was also the way that I felt about the finale. But I still like the rest of the show. Man, it's good that we're getting all these like tactical losses so that we can get, uh, so we can get all these snails to work for us. Well, we're not even going to use a snail that time. I ran out of money. Maybe, maybe. You watch The Last of Us? That I have, I did not see yet. It is my intention to see it. But I know this is what I say every weekend is like. But this weekend was legitimately like, wake up, wake up the baby, spend all day with the baby. As soon as I put the baby to bed, do like 10 minutes of chores and then go to sleep myself. I slept like 11 hours or something on on Monday night. I was so drained from but like both both spiritually, physically and also fluids. Okay, you're gone. Something like this, like this and we're we're going a little going a little sneaky mode with it this time. I know how this looks right now, but we're going a little sneaky mode. Do you know the name of the main dude from The Last of Us? Isn't he a mushroom? Is this like a trick question? What? <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was about like a guy... He's like the last mushroom on Earth or something. That's the one? I know! Why has everyone acted like it's so... out of the pocket then? I know his name is Joel. I know that Joel is addicted to getting behind waist-high cover and then being like, I'm gonna kill you, and then the guy goes like, I'm gonna kill you, and then Joel goes, uh, I killed you, and then the other guy goes, oh, I have a wife, and then we all cry together or whatever, but I'm like, I'm interested. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. We need to get, like, a summon build here. We need to get the summon build to go. And it is not going. It is still not going. This would buff a woodpecker. 
I'm uninterested. This does not help. <laughs> I'm scared. How is this only on three wins? This team looks amazing. Does it though? I think it looks pretty good. It's better than the man dams team, that's for sure. By like a lot, it wasn't even close. Holy cow. Well, like, should probably run like a shark. I think you should go. Even though we have the level there. I almost just rolled. That would not have been smart. And then just anything that summons. Uh, <laughs> All right, this is not a typical situation here. But this is a, a transition round, okay? Just give, let him cook, as they say. Stop it! That was this guy's still alive! Or as Austin Powers would say, why won't you die? It's tempting. So turkey like works, but at some point we have to actually like summon a unit. <laughs> We're still not su okay. You're a summon. I guess you're gone first, just for spacing reasons. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Lots of units about to level up though. Could be worse. Probably. I hate a trumpet fish because it always looks like you're about to win. And then you lose. I mean, not a trumpet fish. A surging fish. Look, look at this dude's got 40 HP. How does that even happen in, in today's modern world? No! Yes! Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, now. I should have leveled you first. Dude, that's order. What do you do? Copy your perk to somebody. Uh, who cares? It's a better answer, better question and a better answer. Okay, for now, order looks scuffed, but is not that scuffed. Don't really see garlic being super relevant here, but that's okay. What are we on? Six? Six wins? I don't think it's out of the question that we could take this one. This round? I don't know. This... This match? I think we got a chance. Why, did, why wouldn't I put garlic on a shark? What's wrong with me? That's like a... It's a gimme. It's one of the, the easiest gimmies of all time. You do look good, thank you. I lost four pounds to the toilet this weekend. Thank you, I appreciate it. Should take one of these. For one round, I'm gonna say why not. Just take the compliment. I'm taking the compliment. <laughs> do not wail. I don't see the problem with the whale. We get one extra trigger on uh, on all of our feints. I think it's a, a big plus, like the Swiss flag. Oh, 
Oh, we win this. Listen, I don't think it's like that valuable, but when you get the options, you, you take them. It wasn't food poisoning. This one was from the daycare, okay? What's your opinion on Big Fish? Like the industry or the Tim Burton movie? Because like the industry, I think I'm against it. I don't know anything about it, but any industry that can be described as big, I think just to be on the right side of history, I don't support it. I only support small fish, Jerry, small fish. Not the tunas, not the tunas, the anchovies. Anything bigger than a heron, I say no to. Why not? The movie? I think it's Tim Burton's... Well, it's probably my favorite Tim Burton movie, but I would acknowledge that Ed Wood is probably like a better movie movie. This is bad. Please? Do it, do it, come on! You motherfucker! <laughs> we were close. Nine wins. One of these. Love to see some more popcorn. Or no, garlic on the shark. That's the kicker. No garlic on the shark, huh? I'm gonna try pita on the shark then as desperation. Ah! What is it? Dude, this is the dream team. They got the they got a lioness to level three early? This is over. Bro, this has nothing to do with the, with the whale. It has everything to do with the fact that they got... <laughs> they probably just bought that snake this turn. Holy cow. It's a 32-32. Alright, nine. Nine's okay. Astronaut's helmet. Nine wins. It was suboptimal in a vacuum, but yeah, you were screwed either way. So you should work for like the NTSB. Well, th both of the engines flared out, um, causing the plane to turn into a fireball mid-flight over the Pacific Ocean with no possibility of landing. But the pilot could have at least tried to pull up before impact with the water, so at least we could recover the bodies. I will not pig you, please. I will not. I will take a silk moth. We need units that have HP. If they don't, if they don't give me HP, well, that's like their own personal problem. Let me be a frozen fox. I mean, this was like a guaranteed loss. If I was there, it wouldn't have gone down like that. Listen, I've played some Microsoft Flight Simulator in my day. I'm inclined to say if I was there, it probably would have gone down like that. <laughs> probably still would have. It would have gone down exactly the same way. This is probably not going to make people too happy to hear this. But I think if I was a ship's captain... I'm just going to tell you straight up, I do not think that I would go down with the ship. Oh, just because of my choice of job, now I have to die because my ship hit an iceberg or something? I'm not saying I'd be the first person 
off the ship because I know I got a responsibility to send the alarm and coordinate everything and stuff like that. But if like if I'm watching people get into lifeboats and somebody's like, hang on, I left my purse in my stateroom. My ass is taking their spot, okay? Oh no, my iPad, it's in stateroom 1107. No, my ass is, is getting off. I'm... <laughs> My version of the Mark Wahlberg, it wouldn't have gone down like that, is just like, it's not me being a hero, it's me being a coward. Like that Asiana Airlines flight that landed at San Francisco airport, clipped the jetway, and then like, they had reports that people were slow getting off the plane because they were grabbing all their personal bags and shit like that. If I was there, it would not have gone down like that. If the lady two rows in front of me was trying to grab her full-size suitcase that should have been checked but she was like i'm not gonna check this because then i have to wait for luggage i'm just gonna shove it under the seat in front of me it wouldn't have gone like that i would have been pushing and shoving i would have been like get get out of my way we're getting off first my life is worth more than your your ipad i would have been going off i would you, they just give you a preview of my face i would have been like i would have been like Really? Looking at my wife like... What was the last fan interaction you had IRL? Well, somebody in chat at the start of today's stream was like, um, Hey NL, I saw you at Science World last Saturday, but I didn't even notice it was you for so long because you just looked like a normal guy. And that's true. I was at Science World, not Saturday that just passed, but the Saturday before that. So this, you did see me. That's my guess. But it's not Science World. It's Tell Us World of Science. It's okay. Just, like, get it right next time. Sell duck. For what? You know what? I'm going to sell the duck. Not because you said it, by the way, but because I read it. And then... My, my basic game plan is hope that a bunch of flying fish show up. Excuse me, okay, I was like, excuse me, where's my buff? You were about to make me go customer wars. And for anybody that doesn't watch A&E, that is not a good thing. Can I take your spot in line if I ever see you at Dombo Ramen? I mean, if you see me at Dombo Ramen, it's not me. Let's just put it that way. My ass is in a different place in my life right now. I cannot be spending 45 minutes in line for 10 minutes worth of ramen. You can catch my ass. I'm trying to think. I mean, listen, if I'm down in the West, well, I guess you could be on West 4th too, but if my ass is down in the West End at Dombo hours, I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're taking a kid at that, at that stage of the game. Where's the closest triple O's? Take her to Muji. There's no food court in Muji. I mean, Muji's like it's a it's a pretty cool store, but like, I don't believe they have a food court. The music they play in Muji is so painful. I've I've not spent that much time inside of the Muji. Okay, I'm a little out of my element. All I will say is. I, I love the message, my life's like a Muji for real. We did buy, um, we bought an aesthetic CD player at Muji, which hangs on your wall, and then it holds one CD, and it's like transparent, so it like spins around, and then to turn it on, it's got like a pull tab where you go, that's very cool. We also bought two oven mitts, and they are the worst oven mitts I've ever used in my entire life. If you hold a baking tray that's hot out of the oven for more than five seconds, you will get third-degree burns on your hand. 
Some of you guys are pretty cool. Do not buy oven mitts at Muji, okay? I don't know if Japanese ovens don't get as hot or if they're just made like garbage, but they're like, they're insanely bad. What am I doing? Presently unknown. Known? Known. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm thinking. It's kind of feel like two sheep would almost go harder. But I really don't want to sell a mosquito to make it happen. I don't really want to sell a panda to make it happen either. You know what? I'm going to go I'm going to go crazy. And you're probably going to go crazy too. <laughs> panda don't do anything. Oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't know you were being literal. This one, I'm not very bullish on this one. That hurts. I knew we, we this was our round to do worse, though. This is our round to do better. Holy bursh. You know what? Maybe, maybe your ass is gone. I like that you're scaling, that's the thing. Mm, garlic, you probably freeze garlic in that situation. You get one of those ballistic missile notifications, what's your next step? <laughs> that's a great question. Um, I, dude, I mean, there's lots of funny things that have happened in life. I don't know if there's much that, like, on a humor level, beats the time that that missile notification went out to everybody, and it literally said a nuclear missile or nu ballistic missile launch detected targeting Hawaii asterisk not a test, and then it turns out that shit was an actual test. That is so funny. Although, did you see the one that was like, the, and I, I know I talked about it on, on stream, but the, the U, UK uh, National Health Service one, where the NHS texted like 4,000 people, and the text said, results, you have terminal cancer, prognosis, three weeks to live, Merry Christmas. And then it turns out that actually it was just sent by accident. Like, that is, I mean, it's not funny, but it's also the funniest thing that's ever happened, is, is the interesting thing about that. Just thinking, why don't you take that? Yeah, it was, they were supposed to send, like, an automated, like, Merry Christmas text, but they accidentally hit the tell everybody they're gonna die text instead. Which it happens, I'm sure. I mean, I don't work in tech, so I can see how other people... <laughs> oh, that's... I don't even want to think about that. Why are you bumming me out? You said, statistically speaking, probably one person out of the 4,000 got the text, then got the text that it was uh, fake news, and then got a text that said, actually, just by via coincidence, you are going to die, though. That would be... I think at that point, I'd be like, just take me out. I can't go through this whiplash like that. Ooh. The ultimate one guy. I don't know what that's in response to, but I would say I agree with that. Bro, I'm so sick of this hippo. Get out of here. 
You freaking suck, dude. Get over yourself. Oh, no, that's pretty sick, though. We should probably talk about running a Spinosaurus instead of an orangutan or a, a bird at this point. It makes sense to me. Probably should have thought about doing it like on that round, but it's life, man. I lived. Hey, Anel, have you heard of Yi Jian? <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble again, okay? I will say, I looked it up. People say I'm arguing in bad faith. Enough. So somebody made a post on the subreddit too that was like, has he played Yi Jian yet? It looks a lot like Super Auto Pets. Maybe he'd like it. I watched the Steam trailer and I was like, you don't know me at all. I'm not playing this shit. You must be crazy. I'm not saying it's bad by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just like, this is not... There's fucking, like, cherry blossoms falling all over. These ladies are fighting in kimonos and stuff like that. It's just... Victory Lap 27, thanks for the gifted subscription. Thank you, subscriptions. The trailer is not representative of the game. What the fuck? Well, then, they, honestly, it's skill difference then. They should cut a new trailer. I'm selling. I'm selling. This is, this is what it's all about. I'm making a bet on you. Okay, now, like, the problem is, if we take a damn shark, maybe you sell a turkey? Yes. Okay. Take the shark to get the buff. Sell the turkey. We need a, a little summon that comes to the front, or don't shoot the messenger. A whale of some sort. <laughs> You're not going to like this one. <laughs> People are like, no! No! What's the game called? It's called Yi Jian. It's a Super Auto Pet style battler. It's the... Listen, I'm not trying to say that it's like... Um, the sort of game where, like, you told your grandma that you wanted Super Auto Pets for Christmas, and then she came back from GameStop with, uh, E. Gian. I'm not trying to say that. That would be... That would be offensive. I've never played it! It might be great! It might be better, for all I know! I want garlic, but you're not garlic, you're onion. Pathetic. Okay. Sure. Garlic. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Garlic. How many hours you got on sap? 40, I think. 40 or 50. Thousand hours. How do you spell it? It's not J-I space J-U-A-N, okay? It's... It's... Why I ought to do one of these days is Y I space X-I-A-N. I'm not suggesting you don't check it out for yourself. I don't care. What the heck happened there? I didn't even get my popcorn. I crapped out a level 3 ram? What's happening? Where's my popcorn? Denny? 
Holy cow, you're a genius. You're a genius. And Ninja Zombat, thank you for the subscriptions as well. Thank you. Please take the alpaca once. The, the, nobody else is going to understand the humor of this situ situation more than me, Nathan. Because the first time you said, I know you're reading these messages, please take the alpaca, it's the best animal in the pack. You had the believer flare next to your name that said you, you had bet on 10 victories. This time, please take the alpaca once. No flare, though. That's a sad story. I lived. I still lived. I still lived! Listen, I'm a simple man. If they want me to take the alpaca, I'll take it. They should just make it a tier uh, one <laughs> unit. <laughs> Because by the time stuff shows up at like tier six, it's, it always feels too late. I'm not saying it is too late. Oh, my ass. My ass! It's a cockery uh, bull's diarrhea coming out of a Fred Fox asshole. Oh, we're, we're toasted. I'm, I'm getting farmed. All right. Five wins. You have my word. I will try alpaca. I've unlocked the Sam. It's like the 10th time I've unlocked this hat. Zoomers in chat. I swear to God. Do Zoomers not know AVGN? I thought there would be like framed photographs of him in like every single high school classroom because he invented online video. Zoomers don't know AVGN? He was popular in the 1970s. Well, he's, like it's a little old school, don't get me wrong. Be like a nefarious lawnmower. Older Zoomers do. How old are the oldest Zoomers? Hold on, I'm going to try to do some mental math here. Zoomers are the generation that came after Millennials. Millennials, it's like 1984 to like maybe 2000 or something like that. It's the oldest Zoomers are like in their early to mid 20s. So what were they doing in 2008 when AVGM was popping off? They were in high school. Oh, dude, of course they, that, that's like the prime demo for the, the angriest gamer you've ever heard. Why are you hitting me with question marks? They were eight? Oh, yeah, that is not high school. <laughs> you know what's crazy? He, I, I once thought he was angry. But the way that people are angry these days, he uh, I think he should just call himself VGN. He's just a video game nerd now. If anything, I would say he's just like a... He's actually maybe more understanding than the average person online these days. He's like a level-headed voice of reason in an otherwise frothy community. Of course we're going to take it. You have my word, okay? If we get the opportunity to take an alpaca and it looks like it'll... I'm building a lot of conditions in here. And it looks like it would work right. I will add it to the squad, okay? Have you seen his movie? No, I was probably like 28 when it came out. That's like, with no disrespect, like, come on. No, I didn't see the movie. We should take this for now. We need some help.
Did you see him fight the Nostalgia Critic? No, I didn't catch that one either. I didn't see that one. Um, this is the strongest team I've ever seen. Oh, nice. He's building the same team again. Dude, it's early. We, like... I'm just going best units available. That's why my results have been so strong right now. Okay, you, like, should be pilled, but you're not really... Okay, you're... There you go. Get pilled. I don't think we should garlic a duck. I'm, I'm scared. You ever notice we're not spawning anything? <laughs> I think I just rolled past the sheep. <laughs> Please, don't kill me. I've I've been good. Let's go. Okay. I think that's true. I think one of the reasons that it feels so satisfying to take the flying fish is because it, it makes a lot of sounds. And it's almost like the more sounds that gets made, the better you feel like you're doing. Garlic? Me? Casino logic. That's <laughs> very true. <laughs> Well, this guy's got a whale, so he must be destined to lose. Me at the casino, when the machine goes... And then it's, it goes... And then it goes, pay out, $1.37. And I'm like, well, but I got six Felicity Shagwells! On line number 17, that inexplicably, it doesn't go like this. Line number 17 is... With the fat bastard kicker at the end. Sheep. We must take a sheep. It's pretty good. It is exactly the same team. <laughs> uh, me sitting at the Austin Powers um, slot machine for 12 hours just because I can't get enough of the bit crushed. Do I make you honey, baby? Kate, I can't leave. The machine's hot right now. I just got another do I make you horny, baby bonus spin. Hey, Ninja Zombie. Thank you again. Thank you. The gifted subscriptions. Me when I win $3 on the Austin Powers slot machine. You're a burger. What am I doing? Next round is chocolate. Remember that. Next round is chocolate. Forget about... No, don't... Yeah, forget about this. Summon one of these instead. Take one of these just for now. Next round is where we get spendy. Be the seagull? Huh? Who's the worst Austin Powers character? Um... I mean, I, I think my answer... I'm not looking at chat because I don't want them to influence my answer here. I think the worst answer is the mole. I mean, like, the, sh the the level of humor in Austin Powers, like, I really feel like Mike Myers just stopped trying after a little while. But, like, in the third one, there's a character named The Mole, played by Fred Savage. He's called The Mole because he's a double agent, but also because he has a mole. That in and if they had just been like he's the mole, and then he had a big mole, that's like Austin Powers one level stuff. You would be like, that's clever. 
well, not clever, but amusing. But then Austin Powers can't stop himself from saying mole, mole, mole like a hundred times. And that's where it's like, that's not funny anymore. It's just, uh, it's quite honestly just insulting. Coincidentally, one third of millennials, like myself, think it's one of the funniest things that's ever been put to film. Shark me? I would pill an orangutan. Did you just roll past an alpaca? <laughs> Rank their the lead women by their acting skill? Okay, well, like it just seems like you're trying to make Beyonce fans mad at me, which is not fair, because I like Beyonce. I like uh, Break My Soul. I like um, I like Halo, dude. This, this is Armadillo, man. I mean, I think the best actress. Well, listen. Now you're gonna make everybody mad at me. None of the Austin Powers lead female actresses are that good at being actresses. Liz Hurley is probably the best. But even, like, what's Liz Hurley's best movie that's not Austin Powers? Bedazzled? That's not, like, a crown jewel in, in a filmography. And then, like, Heather Graham? I hate to be this guy. <laughs> this is so rude. But is she ever played any character in a movie where her thing is not just like, I'm hot. Cause like, she's also the prostitute that, uh, Ed Helms marries in the hangover. And she is the guy who tempts Adam Sandler to cheat on his girlfriend in anger management. She is in boogie nights. That's true. But, I mean, listen, that's a great movie. I would give some of that credit, perhaps, to Paul Thomas Anderson, but what do I know? What's that Chris Klein movie where they're siblings? <laughs> I've seen that. I don't remember what it was, but I've seen that. Also, as soon as you start talking about the fact that you did movies with Chris Klein, that's how you know you're... I mean, your filmography is not perfect. I'm not saying it's bad, just imperfect. So I don't know. I don't want to answer the question because it's going to get me in trouble. <laughs> it's the same damn team. I got nothing against Heather Graham or Elizabeth Hurley or Beyonce. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of great male talent working in uh, the Austin Powers movies either, to be honest. As long as we're, <laughs> as long as we're making everyone mad. <laughs> I mean, who are we talking? Uh, Ninety percent of the characters are played by Mike Myers, and then you've got like, who else is in it? Okay, Robert Wagner may or may not have been involved in a, in a drowning murder like forty years ago. Um, <laughs> Seth Green, of course, most famous for getting his uh, bored ape stolen from him. Uh, Rob Lowe plays young number two, if I remember correctly. Who else we got involved in this one? Tom Arnold. Damn, boy, what did you eat? It's true, Michael Caine is in it. This is going nowhere, isn't it? Don't, no, let me just believe it's going somewhere. <laughs> Why do I have a turkey on the team? <laughs> uh, Michael York. Okay, Michael York's been in some great stuff. Taming of the Shrew. 
Me watching the taming of the shrew in ninth grade English class? That's Basil Exposition! One of the actual... Listen, okay. Austin Powers 2. Here's a joke for you. Austin Powers gets in the... Oh, uh, we can't win. Austin Powers gets in his time machine Volkswagen Beetle, okay? And he then he says something like, um, Wait on a minute, Basil. When I go back in time, should I try to avoid finding my... How am I going to investigate the loss of my mojo? Because when I go visit myself at the Ministry of Defense, I will be frozen, so I will be meeting my frozen self, and oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. To which uh, Basil Exposition replies, Austin, we suggest you just have fun and don't worry about it too much. And then he looks right at the camera and says, And that goes for you, too. That's a great joke! But that goes for you at home as well. That's it. Austin Powers 3. Molly! Molly, 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 Molly! 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 Anyway, let's do one more. What was that, four wins? That was not a good one. Five wins. Okay, five wins. What is next after this? I don't know. <laughs> well, I should be checking my phone. Make sure I don't have an emergency pickup. Why are you talking about Austin Powers? Bitch, somebody asked. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta click on this. I, I want to end my turn, but I have to click on this Epic Game Store notification. Pre-purchase Returnal. I, I will not be doing that. No offense. I'll be like a overexcited driver. We're gonna win a round. I had the same notification. PS5 owner. <laughs> no, I don't want to make any enemies. <laughs> so PS5 owners when the only good console exclusive comes out for a PC? No! no! I don't even like Returnal, honestly. I just wanted to make people mad. It's a personality flaw. Also, I own a PS5. <laughs> You've been annoying me for sure. Maybe we could do this. Dude, yeah, maybe, dude, maybe there's something to this. 90s alternative rock tier list. I'm not gonna do that, okay? Cause we've been down this road a few times before. Here's what I'm gonna say. A lot of people didn't like when I said this earlier. They disagreed with me. I'm gonna say it again anyway, cause I will not be silenced. What, you're running the same squad, you, you hater? Um, anyway. One of the most underrated songs of the 90s that I forgot about until it was included as track one on an Emma Lovewell 90s ride on the Peloton, Duncan Sheik, Barely Breathing. That's a great... Listen, it's no Alice in Chains. It's no Nirvana. It's no Soundgarden. It's no Pearl Jam. But as far as, like, 90s one-hit wonders go, it's a great song. I'm gonna put a blobfish out here just for the moment. I actually think I would pill you. Mm, you are a 2 4 at the end of the day. Maybe I won't do that. Sure, you're sticking for a minute. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Probably the new radicals you get what you give is, is a, a standard deviation above Duncan Sheik's barely breathing. But that's like. I mean, we're talking about, like, that's, that's one of the all-timers. That's an all-time one here, Wonder. Yes. Yes. Imagine, what would this, we're looking for a tier four. Imagine if you shat out, honestly, like, a lot of these look great. Imagine if you shat out, like, an early hippo, though. Oh, I think there's something to this. We could be annoying as hell. Absolutely. 
Teenage Dirtbag. I like I like Teenage Dirtbag as well. I got nothing against Teenage Dirtbag. Hey, you you ruined my whole squad, you piece of garbage. I should move the Silk Moth up. That's an that's an unconscionable error. Ah, never mind. I'm chilling. Okay. I mean, you're already doing no damage. Why don't we have it? I mean, I'm going fully crazy. At this point, we might as well. <laughs> and then... No! Slop them up! Oh no, they got their own surgeon fish, dude! Get a life. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, that's still really bad. Alright, well, it's some it's hippos, dude. Hey, Anel, should I go see the Canucks at Madison Square Garden in February? I'd say it's a simple question. Are you a fan of the Canucks or a fan of the Rangers? If you're a fan of the Rangers, you should definitely go. That's like a must-have. <laughs> I would circle that date on the calendar. I feel like this could get insanely annoying. Let's give this a chance. Ooh, maybe? Canucks really that bad? What's their record? I don't know. We're like fifth last in the NHL right now or something. Let me put it this way. We're, we're so bad that whenever I talk about them being bad, I get uh, replies that are like, well, at least you're not a fan of X team. And then like X team is ahead of us by 12 points in the standings. Could be worse. Could be a fan of uh, the Edmonton Oilers. I'm like, really? Oh, they have like double our points. Hello, Daniel. Hello. Thank you for the kind words. I'm back. I'm playing Super Auto Pets. I'm alive. I'm living for it. Oh, here, hold on. We got some discourse. NL, have you seen the Fablemans yet? Nine out of ten easy. Dan, didn't you give the Fablemans a... An 8 out of 10 on dangeesling.com slash movies, though? Or am I... I could be mistaken. You could have given it a 9. Eight out of ten, yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> Boy, I sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. I brought receipts. See, this is like not right. Because my team should be better than this, in my opinion. War chest on ten wins? No. My, my brain is not all there today. Not just four days of like, um, of, you know, just me one-on-one -on -one with a toddler, but then also I lost four pounds uh, on Monday and Tuesday, crapping my brains out. So I'm like, my body's like, it's, it's a husk. I would say in many ways, my body is a cage that keeps me from dancing with the one I love. I would say like, I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I'd say like we're living in an age that calls darkness light, though the something, it's been a while. Arcade Fire is canceled. They weren't when that song came out. I guess, obviously, <laughs> we probably wouldn't have heard of it. <laughs> I don't think Bump and Grind came out after all that fucked up shit about R. Kelly came to light. Let's go level two parent. I don't know what I'm doing with this. I got to think about this. Friend faints if it was a faint pet activated again. Works one time per turn. What the fuck? 
Okay, listen, okay? What if... What if... We get uh, just like 10 ants? Does this make sense? <laughs> I don't think so. Because <laughs> like, okay, when the ant dies, we should get two triggers on the ant dying, right? Get ready, here it comes. One, two, three. So that was the game plan. Now the problem is we have no attack, but hang on, our pterodactyl has a lot of attack. Now it sucks that our armadillo is only level one because it's not generating that much defense, but it's okay. It's something at least. Like this is gonna work out in many ways. And then you got a, wait, what did you get a trigger for? Oh, cause the faint trigger also, okay. Well, it's a, it's a different build. I said it was interesting. It's a pterodon, not a pterodactyl. It's, it's actually a pteranodon for the record. Also, I'm too old to learn new dinosaurs. I'm just saying it. If a dinosaur didn't exist when I was 10, I'm not learning it anymore. And it's a recurring bit. Piece of garbage. <laughs> but um, I've been reading all these dinosaur books with my daughter. The hell is an Allosaurus? What the hell is a, a Carnosaurus? What the hell is a Dinochirus? That's that's not for that's for the next generation is what I've realized. It's not for me anymore. They've been coming up with new dinosaurs like crazy, man. Like they're so old. How are they learning more stuff about them? It doesn't make sense. It's a load of cockadoodoo with the diarrhea dumper. I think you need to level up. I'm not, like, I'm just not that invested in you is the thing. <laughs> Two of those three you named were in my encyclopedia 20 years ago? Yeah, my ass was not 10 20 years ago. I'm older than that. I did not live. I did not live. I lived? I lived? Pita me? I did not li I did not live. Not that much older? It's like you arguing with the teacher because like you... I know I was wrong, but like my methodology was kind of correct. Can I get like a half mark? This is the real world, okay? Twitch chat is the real world. You heard it here first. There are no half marks. I'm just rolling. <laughs> I'm straight up just hitting buttons. <laughs> How did we get seven wins on this one, man? No, the whale. Twitter in February after uh, Colin Farrell wins Best Actor for the Banshees of Inisherin. Well, it's a strong team. Okay. Faint triggers. Not sold. Not sold. Did you watch Banshees of Inisherin yet? Nope. I'm not sure if I will. You should. I know. I know. Everyone says it. I'm redoing the whole squad. 
Here's how we're redoing the whole squad. You're gone. We go like that. You're gone as well. Not for a snake. Not for an octopus. Give this pet's attack to one random friend. We've only got one of you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You got to think about this. You got to think about this. Maybe you... No, because you're generating 6-3. You're important. Not as much as I'd like you to be. We'd love to have more... Not faint triggers, but more units that spawn units when they die. I hate myself. <laughs> Sell me. Buy me. I know, I know. Dude, nobody's more pissed off about this than me, okay? <laughs> we need the triggers! We need more faint triggers. NL the type of guy to buy to not buy winter tires. That is damn true. Like in a strictly literal rhetorical sense. That is damn true. I'm glad someone's saying it. My parrot! Oh no. Seven wins. Not a great performance. We did unlock the Steely Dan hat, though. I think seven wins. Seven wins? 